What's up guys, today we're going to be looking at my favorite 3D launcher or home replacement app for Android. Now I'm running Gingerbread, it might sort of look different on Ice Cream Sandwich, I'm not sure. Um, all I know is that the status bar might look a little different. I'm not writing Ice Cream Sandwich, I'm running a Gingerbread. So yeah, um, let's just wait for this to install and we'll hop right into it. So it looks like it's installed, and we're going to press home, DX home, and wait for it to boot up so it has to load. And this is really cool. This really does remind me of my UI in a way, but what you first get is to choose an icon style. So my icon style, I'm going to go ahead and choose the system style icon. DX home theme icon is sort of just these icons down here, sort of shiny and uh, sort of sort of playful, I guess. So yeah, we're going to use my icons, and we're just going to confirm the host migration over to that. So this is really nice, very smooth. Um, I haven't really used um, DX home for a while now because it is Chinese originated, so it doesn't really have um, that many you know, features that you would get in the US, like weather and stuff. But other than that, I think it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get this widget out of the way so that you can see the navigation and customization options for your home screen. So you can immediately cancel away each app that you want. So let's say you want to get rid of the, um, let's say you want to get rid of this folder. It just goes right into a vortex and goes right away, whips off into whatever trash can you imagined it to go in. So let's go ahead and edit this. Looks like you can choose a skin. I haven't really gone through the skins that much. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this widget. Let's go ahead and add another widget. Now what you get when you hold down on your home screen is not really to change the wallpaper. You have to change wallpaper through pressing menu. But you can have shortcuts, widgets, new folder, and batch adding. I don't have no idea what batch adding is. But obviously new folder, shortcuts, widgets. You should know that if you're an Android owner. So let's go ahead and go to widgets. My favorite one is what I want to show you, and that is called DX Weather. That one is very cool. Just choose the default theme. But, you know, the only problem is, is that it says Beijing right there. I mean, like, if you live in China, that's great. But I don't live in China, so they got to really add in um, some American cities. That will definitely help a lot. And other than that, it is highly customizable. If you press these little pagination um, rectangular things down here, You'll get into a, uh, ooh, looks like I gotta press that first. Uh, why isn't this working? Sort of weird. Maybe they got that out, because last time I used it, um, it was in there. It does have different transitions too, though, and your app drawer is highly customizable as well. So let's go ahead and press menu. You get add, manage screens, theme, wallpaper, manage apps, preferences, settings, and share. Share, you really just get to share um, the DX Home Launcher with your friends and family. So preferences, lock screen edit, I don't really use that. Lock screen setting, don't use that. I don't recommend using these. There's really no point in doing with it. So I'm going to set that as my default home um, just for now so that I don't have to keep on switching through. Go back to preferences, um, desktop settings, Sliding effects are pretty cool. I'm not going to go through all of them, but my favorite one so far is, I'm pretty sure it was squash last time. And home screen setting was my second, or, oh, second, try to press cancel. Uh, 3D screen gallery, I obviously want that. I like 3D. Might um, use a battery though if I'm using the gallery a lot. So I keep that in mind. Now drawer sliding effects, I usually have it classic o o overshoot. And then the drawer enter effect, I really recommend using the magic lamp. It has like a genie style effect that you would see in Aladdin back in the day. Uh, Plug-in settings, don't really use that that much. Uh, you might be able to add some widgets. Advanced function, high quality drawing. That may reduce performance, but it, since I have a high-end device, it's going to increase performance for me. So that will definitely um, be a battery drainer, but it will make it smoother and easier to use, I guess. So now that we're in our home screen and we've made our customizations, you can see not really much changes from this, but you can see that my transition is sort of squashing from side to side. And that is a pretty cool effect that they put in there. But probably the number one thing that's different in this is this animation right here. 
I love that animation. It's just awesome. And what's also cool about this is that you can go right into drawer settings by pressing menu and you can even choose a, raw, a wallpaper. So let's say you want it, your current theme, it'll be set to sort of like this grayish carbon fiber um, background for your app drawer. So you guys go ahead and download this app, set it as your home launcher, try it out. I really recommend this. This is probably one of the best 3D um, launchers on the market right now. So go ahead, check it out. Um, and subscribe, rate, comment. I love your guys' feedback. I'll respond to you no matter what. Sorry, the <laughs> little strap is hanging from my camera. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And if you'd like more from JG Andrew, then go ahead and subscribe. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.